Hello, welcome to a guide to applying as a student from Southeast Asia session. Before we start, we just have a couple of housekeeping notes for you to be aware of. This event is being recorded live. There is a Q&A function running throughout the presentation, so please do submit any questions you have using the chat box to the right of your screens. We will answer as many as we can towards the end of the session. If you see a question that you would also like to know the answer to, please like it so that we can ensure the most popular questions are being answered. I'm now going to hand over to Anna Scott, who is our International Recruitment Officer for Southeast Asia, and Yilin Tan, a student from Malaysia who's just finished her first year at Derby, studying business management with international business. Hi everybody, my name's Anna Scott and I'm the International Recruitment Officer for Southeast Asia. During this session, I'm going to cover the key reasons why we think that you should make the University of Derby your number one choice when studying in the UK. I'll start with an introduction to the university, an overview about our city and our campus. I'll tell you all about our scholarships and discounts, as well as the general entry requirements for Southeast Asian students and how you apply. And then I'll tell you all about the support we give to our international students from when you first arrive in the UK and throughout your time with us. Now, the first question I always get asked is, where is Derby? So we're gonna start with a video that shows you just that. The University of Derby, located in the heart of the UK, where both city life and countryside are on your doorstep. And by road, rail or air, it's really easy to get to. Our Derby campus is one hour 30 minutes by train from London. Our Buxton campus is just one hour by train from Manchester. And if you're travelling from overseas, Derby is within easy reach of major UK airports. Plus we offer a meet and greet airport service when you arrive. Now you know where the University of Derby is. It's time to find out where we can take you. Visit derby.ac.uk Derby has a strength in teaching and learning, which is reflected in its achievements. We're proud to be rated gold in the Teaching Excellence Framework, and we're top 30 in the Garden University Guide 2020. In the past 10 years, we have invested around £200 million on study, sport, recreation and wellness facilities to provide the best possible experience for our students. And we're also winning awards for our student accommodation. The City of Derby has held purple flag status for six years. This recognises the entertaining, diverse, safe and enjoyable night out experience offered by our city centre. Our location mixes the best of city living with the ability to explore one of the most stunning national parks in the country, the Peak District National Park. Derby has a low cost of living when compared to other cities in the UK and the region is great for business too. There's been three billion pounds invested in the city over the past 10 years. We're ranked second in the UK as the best place to make a living and we're home to big companies such as Rolls-Royce, Toyota and Bombardier. We're proud to be the only university in our city and region and we're also a much loved second home to more than 1,700 students from over 100 countries. This creates a diverse and multicultural student community. Our International Student Centre was ranked the best in the UK and it also came out top for formally welcoming international students and for multicultural learning and faith support. The International Student Centre supports all of our international students by providing a broad range of services, organising airport pickups through our free meet and greet service and hosting a welcome event when you arrive in Derby which helps you to begin to make friends. We have Yi Lin here with us. She used the airport meet and greet service when she arrived in the UK. So Yi Lin, can you tell us a bit about what it was like to use the service and did it help you to feel a bit more confident when you were arriving in the UK? Yes, thank you Anna. So my name is Yi Lin and I just finished my first, first year in business management in University of Derby. So I will talk about my experience about the meet and greet service. So some of you might feel anxious or insecure when arriving and I would say that the service that the meet and greet service that they provide will give us a really warm welcome and will gather us with other students that are arriving at the same day. So you will feel more safe and secure as you see there's someone who come to pick you up. And I managed to meet a few friends here and we get along quite well and become best friends throughout the uni. 
So who knows, you might meet your friend here. So don't miss this chance to meet friends when uh, waiting for other students to arrive in the airport. So I would say meet and greet service is really good because you won't feel uh, alone and you will feel safe also and it will give you opportunity to meet new friends as well. So after all of the students arrive, uh, we have been taken onto a coach and it brings us all the way from the Heathrow Airport to our accommodation in Derby. So it takes about three hours. So after a long flight, you can also rest during the, this journey. So that's nothing to worry about. So by using this service, you'll feel being looked after once you meet up with the staff in the airport. Uh, so I'll pass it back to Anna. Thanks, Yilin. It's great to know that you had such a good experience and managed to make lots of friends. Yep. So the student experience provided by the University of Derby has been rated as amongst the best in the country. One of the reasons our students have such a great experience is the quality and professionalism of our teaching. Many of our academics have come from industry and are still involved in industry. This means that they know the latest industry trends and developments and what employers are looking for so they can support you. Our campus is a short walk from the city centre of Derby and we have a number of sites across Derby and Derbyshire. The quality of our facilities ensures that students are experiencing environments and technology on par with the highest levels of industry. Some examples include a forensic house with seven crime scenes and a blood splatter room, a purpose-built crown courtroom, a fully operational stock exchange environment in our Bloomberg Financial Markets Lab, a new 10.8 million sports centre, which includes a state-of-the-art gym, fitness classes, a climbing wall, a squash court, tennis courts and a football field. We have a computer games lab, a fully serviced music production studio and a media suite. A specialist facilities for fashion and textiles. And we have a brand new 12.5 million pounds science, technology, engineering and mathematics building at our Mark Eaton Street site. Our amazing facilities are provided to improve the employment possibilities and opportunities for all of our students. Derby supports students to apply their learning with relevant work experience, placements and real world briefs. Tailored support includes CV workshops, employer events, career seminars and online support to make sure graduates are job ready. This is why 96% of our graduates are in work or further study within six months of finishing their degree. Here you can see some of the strong industry links we have with employers in the region and in the country. As a result of these partnerships, the university has a reputation for industry relevant degree programmes, offering over 20,000 students opportunities to gain professional work experience alongside their studies. We offer a range of study options from foundation programmes and undergraduate degrees in a wide range of subject areas. We have many top up programmes and many of our programmes allow you to credit transfer into the second or final year, allowing you to gain a UK degree in just one or two years. You can find details of our courses available to international students on our website and I've highlighted some of the most popular ones here. These include accounting, business, computing, fashion, media, marketing, engineering and psychology. Derby Business School has a strong focus on quality, innovation and real world learning. Popular courses within the school include international business, economics and finance, marketing, law and policing, international relations and diplomacy and criminology. Here you can also see many of the accreditations for our business courses, including ACTA, and you can see that we are ranked in the top 10 in the UK for business and management, accounting and finance and marketing. Yilin, what made you choose Derby Business School? OK, thank you, Anna. So I decided to apply for Derby Business School because I found out that um, business management of Derby Uni had ranked top 10 in the UK and uh, alongside with the degree, uh, I will also get another CMI accredited diploma in management and leadership alongside with the degree. So I think this will be really useful and really good for my future career. 
So that's why I chose uh, Derby Business School. Thanks, Elim. We are ranked in the top five in the UK for tourism, hospitality and event management in the Garden University Guide 2020. We have strong links with local, national and international employees and our programmes include field trips and placements throughout the UK and internationally. Within engineering and technology, we have the School of Electronics, Computing and Mathematics and the School of Mechanical Engineering and the Built Environment. Courses are taught in the areas of computing, mathematics, construction management, architectural technology, and civil, electrical, and electronic engineering. Courses again include real world projects and placements. School of Arts courses are taught at a 21 million pound site, which was created specifically for arts, design, and technology. This is where we offer a diverse and distinctive range of programs, which includes graphic design and illustration, animation, interior design, fashion and fashion marketing, film production, media production and photography. You have access to our excellent facilities, which include recording studios and post production rooms, a TV studio, a newsroom and a radio studio. We boast some of the best facilities in the country for health and social care, and our courses include creative arts, health and wellbeing, occupational therapy, counselling and psychotherapy. Within sciences, we have two schools, School of Human Sciences and the School of Environmental Sciences. There's a strong research culture within the college with new knowledge designed to safe place people and safe places. Our subject areas include biomedical health and human biology, forensic science, psychology, sport and exercise science, biology and zoology, and geography and geology. At Derby, we have the Derby English Language Centre. This offers students the opportunity to develop their English language skills through a range of pre-sessional and free in-sessional courses. We work closely with students to improve their academic writing and presentation skills, pronunciation and grammar, amongst many other things. We also offer an international foundation programme, which gives students a recognised English language qualification so that you can progress onto your chosen degree. It's a one year programme. You'll study English language alongside two other chosen subject modules. So these could be business, law, IT, design, engineering, and a few others. Our course fees do vary depending on which course you choose. So for the latest fee information, please see our individual course pages on our website. We have a range of discounts and scholarships available for international students. This is from our um, £3,000 Regional High Achievers Scholarship for students only from Southeast Asia and to some £5,000 and full, one year fully funded scholarships for some really good students. There's also a further £500 discount if tuition fees are paid in full by the time that you enrol. The full details are available on our website. Applicants are automatically assessed for a number of scholarships and discounts without the need for any additional forms to complete. Terms and conditions do apply, so please check our website fully for details and eligibility. Again, each course has its own entry requirements, so it's best to check the website for the most up-to-date qualifications, but some students from some countries will need to complete a foundation programme if you have not completed A-levels, a diploma, STPM, UEC or an IB course. If you do have a diploma or an advanced diploma, we can consider you for entry onto the second or third year of your programme. So there's more specific details on derby.ac.uk forward slash Southeast Asia, and it goes into each individual country. You can apply online through the relevant course pages on our website. So you just go to the course page, apply now an international student, and you can also get help with your application by using an agent. So find your nearest agent at derby.ac.uk forward slash agents. Elin, you used one of our agents in Malaysia to apply, I think. So did you find this useful? Yes, it is really helpful. So uh, the agency that I'm using is the EDU UK Consult. And 
it, it was really helpful. What they will do is to give you all the information about the uni and they will also help you all the way from uni application to visa application. So what you need to do is just to hand in your documents and they'll help you to do all the jobs. So um, and it will also uh, it had also give me a really short brief before I going off from Malaysia to the UK. So it was really helpful. Great, good to hear. So once you have submitted an application and all of your documents and received an unconditional offer from us, before you come to the UK, you'll need to pay a £3,000 tuition fee deposit. And this is only refundable if your visa is refused. If you need any help at any point with the application process, you can contact our admissions team who will be happy to help. There isn't any deadlines for applications, but it's important to leave enough time for you to sort out your visa. Um, here at Derby, we have a dedicated visa advisor, Ash Slater. So if you are coming to the UK to study a full time course for more than six months, you will need to apply for a tier four visa. There's lots of helpful information about visas and immigration on our website. So please go to derby.ac.uk forward slash visas or you can contact Ash. Our government has also recently announced the return of the post study work visa in the UK. And this new graduate route will allow eligible students to work or look for work at any level for a period of two years after completing your course. Most of our halls of residence are a short distance from campus and are within easy reach of the city centre. Most of our first years will live in halls and rooms are grouped into flats with shared kitchens and either have a shared bathroom or an ensuite. Rent is all inclusive with no separate bills, which really helps you when you're moving away from home for the first time. At most of our halls, there's free Wi-Fi, free TV, social spaces with table tennis, pool table and TV, nighttime security and CCTV, free weekly cleaning for your communal areas, free bike storage and on-site laundry. So living in halls is a really great way for our international students to live in a safe environment and it helps you to make friends because they organise events and activities throughout the week and throughout the year. At the University of Derby, there are many different support networks available to help you fit in and make friends. When you start at university, you will be assigned a personal tutor for the duration of your studies. This personal tutor is there to support your progress, so they'll help you to find work, um, work experience and to be somebody who you can go to with any concerns about your studies. We have an on-site GP surgery which is available to all of our students. We have a careers and employment service to help with careers advice for up to three years after graduation and they can support you with your CV and cover letter skills, interview and assessment centre techniques. We also have a team of chaplains and faith consultants who are on hand to help at our award winning multi faith centre. Male and female prayer rooms are available on site. Here are just some of the ways students can get involved with university life at Derby. The Union of Students runs more than 60 societies from academic and active to charity, religious and cultural clubs. You could join Derby Worldwide where you can meet with other international students or you could set up your own society. We have more than 40 sports teams across a variety of sports from basketball to badminton, football to lacrosse. I'm now going to pass you over to Yi Lin, who's a first year business management student, and she can tell you exactly what it's like being a student at Derby. All right, thank you, Anna. So I will start to dig into to share about the accommodation and my academic experience in University of Derby. So my accommodation is in the uh, Hall of Residence uh, provided by the uni. So it is Darley Bank and my room type is the Ansuit, which means I have my own bathroom. And for my rent is 145 pounds per week and it is inclusive with all the bills. So I would say the halls of residence are really safe and with very, very helpful hall staff. So there, there's also some common space which allow you to socialize. And there is also many halls event going on throughout the term time. So it is really good for international students to socialize with other in halls of residence. And another thing to mention is it is easy to get in between the campus halls and the city. And you can also 
because you can just hop on the unibus to town or to uni. But if you enjoy the beauty, you, you like to enjoy the beautiful view along Derby, you can also choose to take a walk because all of the places are accessible through uh, walking. So it's in everything is in walking distance, I would say that. And for my academic experience in Derby, I would say that the cost load is not too intensive uh, for business management because I have uh, plenty of time to do something I like, such as reading books and learning something new, but it depends on what course you are in. So all the lectures are really professional and helpful. So if you have any question or need some help for your coursework, you can drop an email or arrange an appointment to discuss with your lecturers. So most of them are really helpful and keen on their students learning. So another thing I genuinely like about the uni is the PAT personal tutor because all of these students are allocated to a personal tutor who you will need to meet uh, two to three times during term time. So your personal tutor will need to follow up and ensure that your learning process, your well-being and even your future career development are on track and it's good in condition because like have you been settled down or get used to your uni life they will need to know about it and they will give you some really helpful advices and guidance academically and emotionally so for me it helps me a lot in my first year as I'm far away from home and making myself to get used to the life in UK so the guidance and advices from my personal tutor had helped me a lot so I would say that overall, I have a really pleasant experience in Derby Uni for my year one. So that's all for my sharings, and I hope it gives you a great impression about University of Derby. Thank you. Thanks, Elin. So thank you, everybody. I hope you found the webinar useful, and it's given you lots of reasons why the University of Derby is a great place to study. Please visit our website where we have specific information for international students and you can find my contact details. If you have any questions, you can email us at international at derby.ac.uk. And if you want to talk to somebody about an application, please contact iadmissions at derby.ac.uk. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So I'm going to pass back to Jonah, who hopefully has some questions from you. Thank you very much, Anna and Elin. That was very interesting. Uh, yes, we do have some questions. Um, so uh, the first question is, is it too late to apply for September 2020? So no, it's not too late to apply for September 2020. We are still um, accepting applications now. What I would say is just bear in mind um, how long it might take to get a visa at this current time. So we know that many of the visa application centres across the world are still closed, um, but we are seeing them start to open up in certain countries in Southeast Asia. So I think Malaysia, in Indonesia and Thailand. Uh, but just check that and make sure you have enough time to apply for your visa. And if you do um, have any questions about applying now, you can contact us um, and we can advise you on how long it might take to make the application and how long it might take to get your visa. Great, thank you. Um, and uh, similarly, can I start my course in January 2021? Yep, so if you did want to start your course slightly later in January 2021, if your course is available in, 20, in January 2021, you can. The best place to check is on the website. So on the individual course pages at the top, it will say whether it's September or January or both intakes. Um, again, just kind of make sure for each individual course and contact us if you have any questions. But if you do want to defer or wait until January, if the course is available, you can absolutely do that. Great, thank you. Uh, Yulin, I wonder if you could answer this one, please. How do you cope with missing your family and feeling homesick? Yes, I do feel homesick sometimes in UK because it's my first time far away for such a long time with my family. So what I would do is I, I will find a time that they are, they are in and they're available. So I would just video call and talk to them sometime. But just remember to contact your family frequently. You talk to them frequently that you can cope with that. So, and other thing I would do is to um, maybe to watch drama or something, just something that might just, just like separate all your tensions on your like your emotional thing. So that's what I would do. 
good advice. Thank you. Um, just along a, a similar subject, um, what did you what would you recommend international students bring to the UK? So for me, I think the most important thing is to keep yourself warm. But <laughs> I think all of those clothes can be can be bought in the UK. So the most important thing to brought is I think it's your passport. <laughs> no. Yeah, your passport. And of course, some something that might makes you uh, to feel safe. Like for me, my photo album with some picture with my family and my friends. So sometimes when I feel homesick, same with this last question, I will maybe just look onto it. So something that makes you remind you something of your country and make you feel safe. So th this is the thing that I will bring. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, so we've got a question about scholarships. Um, how do I apply for a scholarship, Anna? So um, there is no separate application for a scholarship. What happens is once you submit your application to study with us, the international admissions team will review that alongside our scholarship criteria. And once they have made you an offer, they will let you know whether you're eligible. So you don't need to fill out any forms or contact us. We will let you know if you are eligible for a scholarship and you will um, see that stated on your offer letter. OK, thank you. Uh, one last question then, that's for you, Lynn. Um, so you were in the UK during the coronavirus um, pandemic yes. Um, yes. and the university had to switch to online learning. How was that experience for you? Actually, is because nowadays we are all familiar with all the things on the uh, computer, right? From online things. So I think it's actually a new norm for this uh, situation. But we, we, will, we might need to push ourselves harder because learning in your own uh, comfortable space sometimes might make you feel a bit demotivated. But what I would do is to just focus or left out some time just for my study. So it's to keep yourself disciplined. So this is the time that you need to be self-disciplined and uh, to keep yourself improved and uh, focus on your study as well. So this is uh, how it goes for me during this time uh, for the online learning thing. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, that's all the time we have today for, for question and answers and, and for our presentation. So we're going to finish there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We've put the contact details back on the screen now so you can see you can contact us uh, at international at derby.acuk or do visit our website derby.ac.uk forward slash Southeast Asia where you should find lots of information that's useful to you. Thank you for listening. Thank you to you, Lynn, and thank you to Anna. Thank you. Thank you. We look, we look forward to welcoming you to our university soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.